Hey, what's up everybody? So welcome back. So uh, if you saw my last video, I made a post about uh, the new A school wait times for 2025, the approximated wait times for January. And basically in there, I was surprised to see that there was a new rate. It was called abbreviated as CMS, which is a cyber mission specialist. And this is a great opportunity for many folks out there, especially if you are a huge tech guy or if you like um, programming or, or you like to be in secret rooms and get involved with like uh, security protection or, or you know cyber stuff. Um, this is such a cool gig. Um, it was something that wasn't available to me. So it's awesome that now they're making it available to everybody. So let's just uh, dive into this rate. So, so, so uh, basically the overview of Cyber Mission Specialist here is that uh, the announcement is the waitlist is going to open February 3rd and it's going to be um, the newest A school that the Coast Guard has added since Diver A school. So that's pretty cool. Um, some key changes to cyber mission specialists are that in the past basically uh, when i was looking into like a cyber uh, rate and going into like a cyber role um, i had a cool friend of mine we were like debating trying to figure out hey what rate should we go like you know we were stuck in a boat and we were just trying to figure out like hey should we do this this and the third well cyber was an option and it was something that we were looking into but at the time the only way you can get into cyber was if you or an E5 and um, and you had to meet like all these requirements basically to lateral over you had to have some like education and uh, and then you had to make E5 and uh, and then but you had to become rated first which meant you know uh, like if you're new to the Coast Guard you would have to go to boot camp go to a cutter or land unit and then basically get orders to an A school and then after A school you would you would get rated and then after you're rated advanced to E5 and then after E5 that's when you can lateral over but no now they changed it up um, uh, basically members can now directly access cyber mission specialist a school at E2 or E3 ranks which is like awesome that means that basically right after boot camp because uh, you're basically graduating at E2 you can basically go into this rate so that's that's really huge news so the cyber mission specialist a school structure so where will you go how long is it going to be so basically it's going to be you're going to be doing it um, alongside basically with the navy they have a center in pensacola florida uh, the program is 27 weeks it's a joint cyber analysis course called jcac um, and basically you would go there it meets the dod standards and basically the coast guard didn't want to waste their time uh, adding you know instructors and all this to their a schools that they have already in place um, this works great for them uh, since we are technically we fall under the navy uh, this just works perfect uh, for everybody i guess it saves money and time but yeah that's where you would go to florida if you get accepted and you would basically do that uh, 27 week uh, uh, school with them all right so the eligibility requirements for cyber mission specialist a school uh, no prior cyber IT background needed uh, JCAC is designed to teach cyber fundamentals that's just so cool I mean I think in one of the requirements back in the day was like you had to have like a certain amount of credits in like information systems and stuff like that to be eligible but for this not having to have any kind of background in cyber or IT is really awesome and criteria you know you got to be a US citizen uh, your combined ASVAB score um, of AR plus VE has to equal 110 so that's the arithmetic reasoning and the verbal expression basically uh, do good in those, score good in those, so you can meet that that requirement for your ASVAB. Um, eligibility for a top secret, and you also have to have, <clears throat> you have to pass a polygraph uh, test. This is kind of rare because um, I've never seen this at all. Like, I've never, you know, usually you get a secret clearance when you try to join the Coast Guard and stuff like that, and that's like 
baby compared to trying to get a top secret. Top secret, you know, they're very thorough. They go into the past of your life um, and uh, they, they interview people, they interview you and blah, blah, blah. But a polygraph is like, damn, they really, they really want to make sure that, uh, that you're someone uh, they can rely on and that they can trust and uh, your allegiance is good. Um, you also have to have normal hearing uh, security clearance, a clearance process takes about 9 to 18 months, so you could be at non-rate for some time or be a non-rate for some time. Um, and uh, consult the command security officer early if interested. That would be for someone that's already in the service. That's basically the CSO. Uh, they handle a lot of like our secret clearances, especially when you're doing foreign travel and stuff like that. But I do want to express my thoughts a little bit in the nine to 18 months. It does take a long time to get a just a regular clearance. So uh, your regular clearance, depending on your age, can take some time, let's say about like three to six months, um, depending on your, I don't know, a lot of stuff. Um, your age, how many jobs you've had, how many places you've lived, blah, blah, blah. But doing a top secret can take even longer. So they're just basically letting you know, like, hey, this can take a while, just be ready. So this means that, yes, you potentially, uh, let's say you talk to a recruiter and, um, and you meet all the requirements and you start going through the, the process of getting that clearance or the top secret clearance. Well, just know that uh, you might be attached to somewhere, whether it's a station, a boat, or whatever it is, and you will get qualified and do the normal thing until you get to go. Or if you pass like you know the clearance um, getting on the wait list as a rated member so for us rated members it's gonna be a little bit different um, so if you're a rated member like myself and you decide this is something you want to do then the it's a whole nother process um, I don't want to get too deep into this subject but basically um, I will you would basically go and reach out to your command and with your command you will let them know you're interested in this um, in this new rate and basically you would have to get released from the rate that you're originally in and then you would have to that's probably one of the last steps but i think one of the first initial steps would be to try to get that top secret clearance since you already have your clearance and then kind of move forward with the seo or the cso and um and then kind of move forward with that so um that's something you would get with your command to kind of start moving up in those things. Um, but yeah. Uh, timeline and class information. Earliest start date calendar year is 2026. Uh, that's very important also for you to consider. Uh, just because you know, you're gonna try to do your clearance. Um, your clearance might take some time. And then the earliest calendar year for it is gonna be 2026. Classes structures are two to three classes annually. So, you know, if you don't do this in a good time frame and start right away and get the process rolling, um, you know, those three classes fill up. Now you're looking at 2027. So it could be a hard rate and very competitive. So I would say like, if you're very interested in it and you're serious about it, get with your recruiter right away and uh, try to get the, that paperwork in and get the ball rolling, especially if you're young uh, because I think it'll be easier to get a clearance and it's, it's a lot easier, smoother. Um, <clears throat> even if you are the first on the wait list, clearance determines when a member starts the program. So yeah, that's important too, that even if you waste that whole time, not waste that whole time, but if you're trying to get in and let's say you're a non-rate uh, on a boat and you're waste, <laughs> I keep saying wasting, but you're in that boat for a long time and then um, you finally get like your clearance no, no, my bad. You're on the boat for a long time and then you're on the wait, wait school list, but you don't go and people go in front of you because you haven't got your, your top secret clearance or your polygraph or whatever it is. So um, just know that the, the clearance is really what's important here. And uh, that's it. So <clears throat> again, um, this, this is an awesome opportunity. I actually have a younger brother who um, I'm trying to motivate to go into the Coast Guard and to join the Coast Guard. And uh, he already has his associates in uh, information systems. And, um, and uh, he basically, 
this is something that he's wanted to do and something that he's always like waited for like oh you know how hard is it to be going into the cyber field blah 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 so yeah if if you're someone that's into those kind of things and you like technology and you like being around that stuff i think it's a great opportunity for you to really think about it and start getting the ball rolling rolling with your recruiter and um and really just start getting that process going that way you can just knock it out and also cyber pays really good money i mean like you're talking about you can you can do your four years they're going to probably pay you money to stay in or give you bonuses or try to keep you in uh, because just because it's so um, it's so necessary and it's something that's critical nowadays to have as like an organization, especially in the government, um, you're always going to have work, especially having those clearances. Um, you're you're basically set. So I think it's a good it's a good route to go if it's something you love, if it's something that really interests you, if you're doing it really just for the money and blah, blah, blah. You might be bored to death, so be careful. If you like to be in the action, choose a different rate. If you like to to uh, really get down and dirty in the engine room, you know, choose a different rate. Um, you know, if you like looking at a monitor, you like doing some Python codes or uh, coding or, or, or stuff like that, then then by all means go for cyber. It pays well in in the field. I'm assuming. Well, maybe it doesn't pay as well as you know in the economy, out in the economy, but. Uh, regardless, you'll be set. So other than that, I hope uh, this uh, kind of gives a little guidance on this new raid. Obviously, it's not everything. Um, I have a, I have this sheet that basically breaks down all every step by step on how you would do it. Um, but I don't want to really put all of that information out there just because also you want to be careful with what you say on YouTube these days. But at the same time, you always have your recruiter and they can kind of put you in the right path. So if you really are interested, get with your recruiter, let them know, hey, I want to do this. Like, let's do this quick. Um, other than that, if you are already in the Coast Guard and you're watching this, get with your command and so on, move, move forward with that. But other than that, um, I hope this helps somebody out there and uh, good luck with everything. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Peace.